Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite drugstore beauty products. I have been recently really getting into drugstore makeup. I have been trying my hardest to really dive in and start using drugstore products more. A lot of you guys know this, but a lot of you guys don't. When I started in makeup, I started working at Sephora. Right away, I didn't get to really experiment with any other makeup other than the brands at Sephora. And then right after Sephora, I started working at MAC. So I really never gave drugstore products a chance. I never bought drugstore products. I wasn't the person that was using makeup when I was 10 years old and was buying L'Oreal and Maybelline, that wasn't me, that wasn't my journey. So I had to really experiment with drugstore makeup after going from like Sephora and MAC to drugstore. <laughs> so it has been a journey going from high-end products to drugstore products and that's why a lot of time people will kind of give me shit for being bitchy to drugstore makeup or for being surprised when they work. And it's not even that, it's literally just me being shocked at the fact that this product that is $5 works better than a product that's $50 and that really does shock me. And I'm like, whoa dude, how the fuck do they make this happen? And it's just honestly my genuine reaction when I'm shocked and surprised. I'm sorry if it comes across as me being a fucking bitch or whatever it may be. If you guys think I'm a bitch, then hey, that's your call. But I don't think I am, so I'm just gonna continue to do what the fuck I keep doing, okay? This is actually really hard to accumulate. I was shocked at how many products I really actually loved from the drugstore. It was hard to just make this 10 and I'm like what the fuck I'm thinking maybe I should do a series on my channel like top five drugstore concealers top five drugstore foundations I'm thinking about doing something like that because this was really hard for me to pull and that was a good sign and I'm like yo that means I like a lot of drugstore products and I want to talk about more drugstore products with you guys so yeah guys that's what today's video is going to be as always if you guys don't like this video if you guys do not like me please don't fucking watch it you know the drill with that but if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny MUA, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Con todo mi corazón. Me encanta mucho. <laughs> I guess exactly what the fuck am I doing? Let's get into this top 10 drugstore products video. <laughs> So let's quickly talk about base products first. These are my top three of base products right here. So by the way, guys, I'm not gonna be going in full depth, intense, crazy, talking about every single product for like three minutes each. I don't want this video to be so fucking long. I'm gonna talk about them quickly. And you guys have definitely seen these products on my channel before. So it's gonna be a quick movement, keep it going, keep it flowing kind of thing. So first product is going to be the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I'm in the shade 103. I love this foundation because it stays on all day. It keeps me matte throughout the day. I put it in my T-zone mostly and just kind of let it set into the face. And it just looks so beautiful. It is a matte finish, but it's not like super matte where I look like literally no moistures in my skin left. The coverage is amazing. The finish is amazing. The longevity is amazing. I really don't think you can go wrong with the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. It's fucking sick, nasty. Like, sick, nasty. Second product is another foundation. It is by Wet n Wild. <laughs> This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys, okay, I just recently started using this. I'm actually wearing this on my face today. I really, 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 really like this foundation. I think that the finish is really pretty. It's like a satin matte finish, more so on the matte side on my face. It looks a little bit more matte than it does satin, but it does look beautiful on the skin. The coverage is a nice medium to full. It's buildable. I was so shook when I first tried this out. I honestly was shocked. The first time I ever tried this was in my Wet n Wild one brand tutorial, and I've used it so many times since because I really wanted to give it more of a chance, and it ended up being one of my favorite drugstore foundations ever. Like, I absolutely love it. The little paddle thing kind of weirds me out. It's like in a little paddle. And I wish that was like in a squeezy tube or in a pump, but I mean, for five bucks, you really, I really don't think you can go wrong. The one thing I don't like about this is the smell. I think it smells like straight up fucking paint as if I literally just dripped paint from a scaffolding onto my face. It literally smells like that and I hate the smell so much. I mean, it goes away and the finish is beautiful and it's really well worth it for six bucks. Come on, I can handle a little, I can handle a little bit of paint, okay? Number three is this by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is, this was actually, the concealer part was the hardest. I actually like a lot of concealers from the drugstore, but the concealer was so hard. But I have to say that this one is my favorite one. This works so nicely. It's a nice medium coverage. You can build it up to be more full coverage. The finish is beautiful on the skin. It blends out so nicely and it doesn't crease crazy on me once I set it quickly. It just looks like a beautiful ass concealer. It reminds me of like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in a, in a way, in a way. It's not the same. It doesn't have as much coverage as the NARS one does, but it does remind me a lot of that. So if you guys are a huge fan and the NARS one, I would definitely just check this out to see. It is a very, very similar Similar type of concealer, and I just absolutely love it so much. The one thing I will say about these, though, is I wish that the shade range was was more vast. I'm like, dude, this is such a popular ass concealer at the drugstore. How do they not have like 20 shades? I don't understand. But I hope Maybelline does come out with more colors with this, and it will rule the fucking world. Item number four is this. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This has gotten some love. 
I love this bronzer so much. It smells like a fucking tropical oasis. Oh my god, it smells like my fucking, like my taint. <laughs> but honestly, it's absolutely amazing. I think that the color is beautiful. The pigmentation itself is beautiful. The finish is really nice too. It's not completely matte. Again, it's another satin, like glowy finish. I had seen this floating around so many places all over YouTube and people were like, dude, this is the best bronzer ever from the drugstore. And I'm like, okay, let me try it. I actually really love it and I haven't found a bronzer at the drugstore that I liked as much as this one. If you guys like bronzer, if you guys like a nice glowy bronzy finish, if you guys just like to look a little more tan and not so pale, <laughs> then I would definitely suggest the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's fucking bomb. It smells like coconut. It smells like, literally, it smells like piña colada. Mmm. Smells like my fucking childhood, fool. Product number five is this. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I talked about this before on my channel and I think it's absolutely fucking bomb. So this drugstore setting spray works as if it's Urban Decay. I'm not kidding you. It works so fantastically. It does have a lot of alcohol in it though. It's a second ingredient, which means it's the second highest ingredient in the ingredient deck. But I will say that this really does keep your makeup on so much longer. I'm wearing it on my face today. It spritz out so nicely as well. I do think it's weird that it's perfumed. It literally smells like perfume. I think that's kind of odd that it smells like perfume, but Honestly, like as you can see, I've gone through a good hefty amount of it. I use it so often. I wish there was more product in here. It only has 2.3 fluid ounces, but at least I can travel with it and the TSA won't get mad at me. So if you guys are looking for a good setting spray from the drugstore, Milani Make It Last Setting Spray Bomb. Okay guys, so product number six is this little bad bitch right here. This is from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Eyeshadows. I've talked about these before, guys. Oh, this is what they look like. They're like this. These are some of the most beautiful drugstore shadows. And not even for drug, not even for drugstore. They're just amazing eyeshadows in general. Let me just go and swatch. I every time I swatch these, I can't get over how nice they are. These are my favorite drugstore shadows of all time. They're absolutely amazing. This is in the shade Amber Rush. It's a beautiful rose gold you guys these shadows last so long on the eyes they don't crease they're crease resistant they give you a metallic intense finish and they have such a great color range as well i left all my infallible shadows at home in san diego and so i had to go out and buy another one this is an amber rush but i just wanted to show you guys that this is such a good fucking shadow they're a little pricey for a drugstore shadow but it is drugstore and it's worth it and the quality is so there, man. Item number seven are these, guys. These are from Maybelline. These are the Color Sensational Lipsticks. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about these because I've talked about them so, so many times on my channel. I had to put these in here. These are some of the best lipsticks at the drugstore I've ever came across. They're so shockingly pigmented. They feel so comfortable on the skin. This is in the shade Beige Bay. This is my favorite color that they've ever done. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a bad swatch, but it's hard to swatch like this. This is actually the shade I'm wearing right now, Beige Babe with a little bit of gloss on top. It's just such a perfect color. Honestly, guys, these are better than some of the high-end lipsticks that I own. The Maybelline Color Sensational line are absolutely amazing lipsticks. Check them out at the drugstore. They're like six or seven bucks. You cannot go wrong. Item number eight is by Wet n Wild. Again, they have been killing it for me. Wet n Wild has highlighters, and their highlighters are Probably the best highlighters from the drugstore I've ever, ever experienced. They're so nice. This is in the shade Crown of My Canopy. <laughs> I don't know why that shade just makes me laugh. So that's the shade right here, Crown of My Canopy. I'm not saying that this shade is my favorite. It's definitely not. I like other shades that they have more. But Wet n Wild really did that with fucking highlighters. They really did that. I don't know what is in here. What kind of crack? Witchcraft is in these products, but they're so nice and they're so pigmented and they give you such a beautiful intense shine to the skin If you guys are looking for good drugstore highlighters are not gonna break the bank that will look beautiful on the skin and sit Beautifully on the skin check out the wet and wild illuminating powders. You will not be disappointed at all Product number nine is this bad bitch right here <laughs> This is from Maybelline. This is the colossal big shot mascara I just want to talk about this really quickly because not only did I do the campaign with Maybelline on this being the ambassador for this mascara but this truly is the best drugstore mascara i've ever personally tried it makes my lashes look so full so intense so fluffy honestly the whole experience with maybelline becoming one of their ambassadors and repping this mascara has been such a great experience for me and i can't thank them enough and honestly i couldn't be more proud to rep a product that actually works so well and that i'm really actually really proud of and last but not least is another wet and wild product after i did that one brand wet and wild product video like my world was turned upside down. Like that one Pokemon in Super Smash that makes your fucking thing go like this. 
worst. But I want to talk about this really quickly because I absolutely live for it. It's the blush I'm wearing right now. This is the Color Icon blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. You guys, this blush for some reason has been like the blush I've been wearing the last two weeks in a row. I don't know why it's so good, but it is. It just feels so nice on the skin. It's like better than some of the high end blushes I've tried. I'm like, how? How? The way that this applies is so beautiful. It blends out to literally perfection. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how it well does anything. This shade is like an apricot pink shade that has a little bit of golden reflect in it. It kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm, but a much more subdued version of it. It's much more apricot and not as glittery, but this is what it looks like right here. It's just a beautiful ass shade. And that is it, you guys. That's it for the entire video of my top 10 drugstore beauty products. These 10 products, I literally stand behind so strongly. I think they're absolutely amazing. They work great on my skin. If they don't work on your skin, I'm sorry. That fucking sucks. You know, everyone's skin is kind of different, but these products worked for me fantastically and I really don't think you can go wrong. If you guys went out and bought any of these 10, I'm like, yep, preach. And I backed them 100 percent but yeah you guys that's it for this video i hope you guys had fun watching i will leave everything linked down below as i always do in every single video <laughs> but yeah guys have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah. hey guys welcome back it's on okay cool oh scared as an on con todo mi cara ah fuck i can't speak spanish what the fuck is coming from me this is like really pretty lighting right now like i feel like very ethereal and very fairy-esque not fairy like queer, but fairy like with wings, you know? Of the NARS one. <coughs> <coughs> Zaya, your cough ball went in my throat. I'm just kidding, you know, I love you. We are so amazing. No. They're so, they're so shy, shy, shy. Why am I just watering? I feel like I'm gonna start crying because I love one once. <laughs> I could be a fucking actor. They're better than some of the lipsticks from high-end's brand. Fuck, I can't speak.